Welcome to our health talk show with BMC. My name is Regina Mtengwa. Today we're going to be talking about diabetes. Today we're joined by Dr. Zambezi. Welcome, Dr. Zambezi. Thank you very much, Regina. You're welcome. As we all know, November is the month of diabetic awareness. We're going to be having a free screening in collaboration with Strictly Diabetes. Dr. Zambezi, can you tell us what really is diabetes? Thank you very much for that question. Um, diabetes is a chronic uh, metabolic condition which is characterized by high levels of blood sugar and with time it will lead to damage in, in your eyes, kidneys, blood vessels, nerves and the heart. There are two main types of uh, diabetes which is type 1 and type 2 and uh, type 2 is the commonest which is about 90%. Type 1 mainly affects the children, type 2 mainly affects the adults. So these are the types of uh, diabetes. Okay. All right, thank you. Can you tell us what are the factors of diabetes? How will I end up with diabetes? Okay, that's a very good question because many people do not really know what predisposes them to diabetes. Mm -hmm. So the main uh, predisposing factor is lifestyle the way we live. So mainly uh, you see that the risk factors, there are some which are modifiable and some which are, of course, which are not uh, non-modifiable. So for those which are mod modifiable, which are mainly because of our lifestyle, uh, we have uh, physical inactivity. If someone is living a sedentary lifestyle, they are at a, a, a greater risk of uh, getting type 2 diabetes. Uh, overweight is also a risk factor of um, diabetes. Then there is a family history of uh, type 2 diabetes. If in your family, let's say your any of your parents is diabetic, then you are at a, greater, at a higher risk of uh, getting type 2 diabetes. There are uh, also conditions like high blood pressure. If you are diagnosed with high blood pressure, your chances of getting diabetes are also high. And also uh, heart diseases, those who have a history of um, any heart disease, it predisposes to uh, type 2 diabetes. Then among women, we have what is called uh, gestational diabetes mellitus, that is uh, diabetes during pregnancy. If you have that condition, then you are at a, a higher risk of getting type 2 diabetes. Okay, thank you so much for that. Can you tell us who should come for screening? Okay, so for screening, um, we are saying all adults, we are going to screen all adults who have uh, a body mass index of greater than 25 and of any of uh, the risk factors which I have mentioned. Any one of the risk factors plus a body mass index of uh, greater than 25, then you should be screened for diabetes. If you do not have any of the risk factors I mentioned, then, if, but you are above the age of 45, then you are also supposed to get screened. So all those who are above the age of 45, whether you have uh, risk factors or not, you are supposed to be screened. Then this screening, the initial screening, let's say you the results for the initial screening are, are normal, then we are going to repeat the screening uh, after every three years. But if they are not, let's say you are in the pre, we have what is called pre-diabetes. It is a condition uh, whereby you have high levels of uh, sugar in your blood, but they are not uh, high to the diabetic range or to the range which define uh, diabetes. So this is called pre-diabetes. So if you are pre-diabetic, uh, then you are supposed to have this screening um, every year. So that's how we are going to do the screening. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Zambezi. Thank you for joining us in today's Health Talk. Feel free to ask us any questions that is healthy related on our Facebook page, on Instagram, and please do visit us on our website. Thank you for listening. We're looking forward to seeing you when you come for screening. Goodbye.